is still one day away from the biggest football game in our state this season. Of course, it's Michigan, Michigan State. That kicks off tomorrow at noon. And this morning, we want to know who you think will win. You can vote right now, wxyz.com slash vote. And of course, on the 7 Action News mobile app. Of course, the trash talking, it's already started. We're going to check in with 7 Action News reporter Matt Smith. Matt's live in Waterford right now. Matt, a lot uh, at stake this weekend with the Michigan, Michigan State game. Do you have tickets? Are you going? Uh, you know, I'm not going. This is one of the first times that I haven't gotten out to a college football game on the weekend in quite a while. I've been kind of lucky this year, but hey, Michigan, Michigan State, they're hard to come by, right? So maybe you don't have tickets. You end up hitting up a sports bar. There's a Buffalo Wild Wings on every corner. I get it. But maybe you want to do something bigger. Maybe you want to go into the lion's den, so to speak, and actually watch this game with a bunch of like-minded fans, right? One of the perks of actually going to campus, near campus, even if you don't have tickets, you have the excitement. This year, the game's going to be in East Lansing, so you're sure to find plenty of screens, beers, and screaming fans at a lot of the popular spots like Crunchies or Peanut Barrel. Yeah, right in the thick of it, right? Uh, while the game is away from the maize and blue crowd, you're still guaranteed to find a crowd if you do make that trip to Ann Arbor though you can go to spots like scorekeepers or good time Charlie's hey, fans flock to those spots and if you want a like-minded crowd that's a good one for the U of M fans but what I really like is that Detroit is doing something new right check this out we found them putting together a heated tent earlier this week this is right smack dab in the middle of Beacon Park and if you haven't heard the park is really becoming a tailgating spot of sorts for big games what's neat is they've struggled to find those 50 50 bars you know you can't really find a lot of good spots in downtown to watch the game so now they're making one and this one's going to be complete with a 20 foot big screen. Kickoff time is at noon, but uh, we're tailgating at 10 a.m. before with a bar, lawn games. We're going to have a cornhole tournament, a foaling tournament, and all kinds of really fun activities for uh, adults as well as young kids. So bring everybody and come on out. What I like about that is it's kind of like a tailgate that you don't have to set up yourself. You heard it there. They got the food, they got the beer, and oh, by the way, it's also family friendly. They got all that grass, that artificial grass in there as well. No matter where you go, both teams are coming off a top 15 win. Michigan State with the big upset over Penn State. Michigan socked it to Wisconsin. So guys, this is going to be a big one. Both teams are going to be coming in there, as always, looking for bragging rights. And we're live in Waterford this morning. I'm Matthew Smith. 7 Action News. Uh, yeah, bragging rights uh, on a national stage and bragging rights in lots of houses across Metro Detroit, too. A lot of divided homes. Matthew.